there needs to be lots of things for Tay to succeed. Obviously there's more than one and there's lots of different profiles. So as a system, what is it that we need to do? We need to make sure that there are high quality providers providing a continuum of services for many different types of young people at different stages of their life. Well, what I really love about the Hilton approach is that it's not just we will give a program money to do good work and deal with individual young people. We appreciate that. But you have a, a grander vision. You really are out for systemic change. And that comes in moving public policy. I think what's been great is that we've been reminded, um, you know, sometimes when you do this work and you're getting paid for it, it's work and we want to see change and we want to see education levels improve, for example. We've been reminded about the whole person of young people. And so having art here, having music, having people that have been in or are in the foster care system here. We are human and we are people and people need love and compassion and being reminded of that, it's not just about making change and running programs or changing policies. This is about treating people as they deserve to be treated. Photography kept me out of the streets because I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a Bronx native and the areas I grew up in is really poverty stricken. I've been living in a drug, prostitution, a bunch of negative aspects um, coming from where I come from and I'm able to overcome that. So photography was one of the ways that pretty much helped me save my life. I'm from New York, so I'm really interested in learning from what's going on in LA and there's organizations like I Foster, some of the advocacy work, and the spirit of California with all of the propositions and all of the, the political system being very different is that there are really creative ideas. I've learned a lot. I love coming to these convenings because it's the best place to, to see a group of grantees and hear about what's on their minds. And particularly in foster youth or children's issues, often we tend to go with vulnerability first. And I think really the clear message yesterday from Frameworks and from others is think about what is effective. And I think so much of the public has a tendency to look at, it's an underperforming system, but there's nothing that can be done about that. And I think that's a narrative that we need to change. I think there's a lot that we need to learn um, because we need to get much better at helping our world understand the problem. And we don't need their sympathy. I don't need the world to feel sorry for our young people. I want them to be mobilized into action. And that doesn't require sympathy. That just requires that they care about this problem. Well, I think the FOSU strategy is very representative and very um, responsive. And I also think that it's a program that has proven to foster collaboration among different actors and is generating learning on how to um, address the particular problems that face this particularly vulnerable group of transition age foster youth. One of the things I think Hilton has done powerfully is to help the field understand that research, policy, and practice are quite interconnected. They're not these sort of separate silos. One of the slides I found quite interesting, which is the starting point of the multiple arrows moving in a bunch of different directions. And then the counterpoint to that is a bunch of arrows roughly moving in the same direction. And if I could describe the impact that the Hilton Foundation has had on the healthy, thriving trajectory of young people in foster care, is essentially helping the field go from that kind of messy pointing of arrows into a field that is moving with multiple different perspectives, some of them not always the same, but in the same direction, which has amplified the speed of change that we've seen, which has helped us see um, together what is possible and what has helped us lock arms around the problems and challenges that feel most difficult.